when I grab this, there's going to be some champagne. There's going to be a heel. It's going to be a fun night. Sometimes when you're in the shops, they might not tell you this. I hopefully will still be wearing this when I'm like 99 years old. <laughs> Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kira. I share videos on shopping for the best basics on the high street, how to build a capsule wardrobe, styling, review videos like this, and lots of other good stuff. So if that sounds good to you, then please do hit subscribe because I would love to have you back for more videos. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a full review of the gorgeous Saint Laurent envelope wallet on chain. I'm gonna be doing a two years plus wear and tear review, what fits, styling, and basically my overall all thoughts on this bag and whether I think it could be the bag for you. Plus, I'm going to be sharing any discount codes that I can find for it. If you've seen any of my bag videos before, you will know that I'm a little bit of a sniffer dog when it comes to discount codes and I love finding the best deals for you guys. So before we get into the video, make sure to check out the description box below. That will have all of the updated links and discount codes that I can find for a bag like this because I purchased it with a discount code and I'm confident that you can too. Okay, let's get straight into it with an overview of of this bag. So as I mentioned, this is the Saint Laurent envelope crossbody bag, or it's also called the Saint Laurent wallet on chain. This bag is created from 100% calf skin bovine leather, the grained leather, the chevron details look really, really gorgeous and so premium. And then of course you have the iconic YSL logo on the front. This is in the gold hardware. You can see this bag has an absolutely beautiful chain strap. This is again in a gold finish. There's actually a nice bit of weight to the chain. It feels incredible incredibly premium to touch. It doesn't have the kind of leather um, upper part that some crossbody straps do have, but honestly, I don't think it needs it because this is a small bag, as you can see. This is regarded as kind of like the regular envelope uh, style wallet on chain, but they also have a slightly smaller one. When I first was thinking about purchasing this bag, which as I said, was two years ago now, I actually bought the smaller version and it arrived, I unboxed it. I actually shared it on one of my previous vlogs I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you want to look at it. But I got this smaller size thinking that it was going to be the one for me, but I actually then changed my mind. I didn't properly like use it. I just opened it, had a look, tried it on, and then I exchanged it for this size, which is slightly bigger and retails for maybe about a hundred euros more. You'll notice that the slightly larger size is rounded at the top and at the bottom, and the slightly smaller size has more of a flat, almost like an envelope style squared edge at the top and the bottom. So like with a lot of luxury bags. The price of this definitely varies online, but I did get a discount code. I used a 10% off code. Price of this for me ended up being around 800 euro, but I have seen this bag going for almost 1500 euros on some websites, even more on some places. So I really, really recommend shopping around. Definitely check out my description box below. If you're watching on mobile, just tap the title of the video and it will pop down and you will see all of the links and all the discount codes that I can find. Um, some of the luxury websites do a discount with your first order. So if you haven't ordered on them before, you can get 10, even sometimes 15% off. And when you're making a big purchase like this, it definitely makes a difference. Okay, let's have a look at the inside because given that this is kind of classed as a wallet on chain, I'm sure you're going to be interested in the interior and what this bag fits. So I'm going to give you a quick look. If I open it up here, you can see that the bag has two main chambers and then it has a zipped interior pocket here. It also has a handy little slot in the back here that you can use for like receipts or notes or anything like that. I feel like they've done a very, very good job with the space inside this bag. They have not made anything bulky and with a bag of small as this, you're going to want to be able to fit as much as possible. The first thing that you're going to see is the beautiful embossed Saint Laurent logo there, which is a lovely little touch. Then you have the interior pocket here. As I said, you can pop notes, receipts, anything like that in there. You could also probably fit your phone if you wanted to. And then you have these really handy card slot holders here. And I think this is why this bag gets its name as being the wallet on chain, because you really don't need to bring a wallet with this bag. You can just pop all of your cards in here. And then of course, the interior zipped pocket here. You've got your beautiful chain with the Saint Laurent embossing on it. And then you have the extra chamber here. Now I will get into what this bag fits. As you can see, she is a smaller bag.
bag. It's not gigantic. We have this strap that is attached by these little kind of D-rings here. This strap is detachable. You just have to pop it out of these leather fasteners here. The beautiful, luxurious feeling on the outside actually flows all the way inside as well, which I think is a really nice note in a luxury bag. And then of course, your little fastener here is a little pop button. Okay, so now that we've looked at the interior of the bag, let's look at the ways that you can wear this. Now, obviously, given that it comes like this with its beautiful chain, you can wear it as a crossbody uh, wallet on chain. And I feel like the drop on this is really, really nice. I like how it sits on my body. Sometimes I don't like when crossbody bags are too long and they're like swinging low around your hips. Like I want this to sit kind of neatly and I feel like it does that. But there are some other ways to wear this bag, which I feel like you should take into account because sometimes when you're in the shops, they might not tell you this. You can basically open the bag up like this, take your straps, wrap, wrap them over each other like this. Then you simply close the bag down. It's really easy and it doesn't interfere with anything inside it. And then you have a gorgeous under the arm strap. So this sits really, really nicely under the arm. The drop is perfect. It's not like stuck under your arm. It like sits really, really nicely. And I find that this is really nice for an evening bag. If you wanna just tuck it under your arm, it looks lovely. There is one other way of wrapping the straps around the bag that I think looks quite nice, but I wouldn't recommend doing this all the time because it is gonna add tension to the bag. So given it as it is here, you're just gonna take this strap and wrap it around. So you're wrapping this in kind of a different direction, if that makes sense. I'll show kind of a cutaway try on to make more sense. And then what you're left with is a tighter under the arm strap. So this is gonna sit a little bit snugger under the arm. If you don't have a big jacket on, you could do that. But you can see here at the side, that this is wrapping around the leather. And I would imagine that if you did this too frequently, you might um, strain the leather or damage it or kind of wear it away a little bit. So when you have it wrapped this way, you have the chain strap running across the top. What you could also do is go and grab both chain straps together. Now I prefer this because I feel like this is rubbing on the bag that little bit less. So you can have this almost as like a top handle purse. You can grab it like a clutch and then have the chain coming down like that, which I think is cute. Or you can grab it like this. It's a little bit small to put under the arm, like the bag would be literally in your armpit, but it sits nicely on the crook of the arm. And again, you'll see all this in the cutaway because I'm not describing it well on this screen. So you've got roughly five different ways to wear this bag. If I missed any, then please do let me know in the comments below because I would love to know. And I feel like when you're spending that kind of money on a bag, it is nice to have that bit of versatility that you can kind of customize it. And obviously we just want to get as much wares as possible out of our bag. But I bought this with the intention of it being kind of like a fancy bag. I don't reach for this every day. Yes, it means it hasn't gotten as many wares as let's say some of my other bags that you may have seen me talk about on this channel. To me, this is an extremely elegant, luxurious bag. When I grab this, it is a special occasion. When I grab this, there's gonna be some champagne, there's gonna be a heel, it's gonna be a fun night. Weddings, date nights, evenings out, and the odd fancy schmancy occasion that I might get to go with with work is where I bring this bag out. Otherwise, it is kept in its little dust bag, which obviously it comes with, and actually in its box as well, because I find that when I store this away, putting it in its box means that it's not being squished, and obviously I don't want it to be flattened. So yeah, I think that if you're looking for something that is an everyday bag, that you're gonna be able to put everything in the kitchen sink in, then you're watching the wrong video, because obviously this is not that. So now let's get into what fits in this bag, because I know a lot of you want to see what she actually fits, so let's go ahead. We kinda need to be a little bit pickier, but we're gonna start with the essentials and I'm going to start with my keys and my card holder. So this is the Louis Vuitton key clay. We'll just pop that down in here and then I'm also going to go ahead and grab my car keys which are actually on a separate little ring. This is the Samsung um, S23 Ultra. It is like your standard long phone size. I've actually popped my phone in that zipped compartment. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this is my YSL card holder. Now as I mentioned your cards are going to fit in here so you don't need to bring this. So you can see in the back here you can pop in your card holder but really if you were trying to save space I would take out your card. In the front pocket I'm going to go ahead and put some cosmetics so I'm going to use Use my slim little compact powder and then I'm gonna pop in one of my little perfume atomizers this is really really handy I tend to bring that on a night out with me and then I'll grab some gum and then I think maybe a lipstick or a lip gloss so in the back here you can see we have the card holder my Louis Vuitton key pouch is underneath and then my car keys are here and then here we have compact gum 
perfume diffuser and lipstick. And I will say the bag is a little bit like full at this stage, but it does close without a bother. So as you will have seen there, you can definitely fit quite a few bits in this bag. It's actually very impressive for how slim and kind of neat a bag this is. But as I said, if you're looking for a tote and something that fits everything, this is not the bag for you. But having said that, you can definitely bring it in to town for the day. You could do a wedding or whatever, as long as you're being picky with your items. And if you are utilizing the card space and not bringing a wallet, you're gonna have that bit much more room. So before I get into my final thoughts, let's quickly touch on the wear and tear of this bag. Now, as I mentioned, it is two years old and I have worn it on quite a few nights out, weddings, events, date nights, that kind of thing. It's not getting worn every day. Sometimes it's not even getting worn every week, but it usually gets worn pretty regularly. And as I mentioned, this grained leather is absolutely fantastic. There is no visible scratches or marks on this. It is just really sturdy. Um, there's no smudges. You know, even if you spill something on this, it's gonna wipe clean. It's one of the sturdier bags in my wardrobe. And as I mentioned, if you wanted to look on the pre-sale market, you can definitely find this bag. So if you wanted to save a little bit more doing it that way because they are so durable, I would be confident that you can find ones that are in super condition. My final thoughts on the YSL Wallet on Chain is that it is a fantastic dressier bag. If you are looking for something that you can wear to occasions, to weddings, date nights, nights out, or even just a dressier, smaller bag for those days where you're just doing the bare minimum, then I think that this bag is honestly a fantastic choice. Um, I feel like the price that I got it for was very, very good. I also think that it will last in my wardrobe. I can see myself having this for decades. It's definitely not a trendy bag. And I think for that reason, it will really last in my wardrobe. So there you have it guys, that was my review of the YSL Envelope Wallet on Chain. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any other questions on the bag, please do let me know. If you'd like to see any of my other bag review videos, I have some Saint Laurent ones, I've got lots of Louis Vuitton, and also lots of fantastic mid-range luxury bags as well. So if you're looking for something that is under a thousand or under 500 euro, I will definitely have something there for you as well. They will all be linked in the description below. If you liked this video, please do give me a thumbs up because that would help me out a lot. And if you have not already, then be sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every single week and I would love to have you back for more. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!